the Olympics is special in terms of, you know, just it, once every four years, that's what makes it special. But in terms of, it's a meet that your whole country recognizes and everyone's there and they pull for you and they're behind you. And it's just the community effort, you know, of everyone. And that's really what I feel when the Olympics comes around is just how much, you know, country pride it has. Okay, we'll go to Angelica. Can you describe your uh, thoughts about your competition at the World Juniors? Um, I came to the World Juniors as a favorite because I won it uh, two years ago. And um, I really enjoyed that uh, status. And uh, I could go to the arena and uh, just feel like, come, come. I knew that I would win. <laughs> and uh, to win uh, and also jump kind of high. Uh, um, yeah, I was really happy about that. Okay, thank you. What about this special evening in London? Can you just give me your feelings uh, around the competition, the great final in London? Jennifer? Yes, in London, you know, there is so much training going into it that when you train for it, you train and, you know, you don't really feel anything. You just have one goal and, you know, one thing on your mind. So after the win and after it was over, it was just a huge rush of emotions and it was relief, it was excitement, it was you know, pride, it was everything all at once. And I think that's why it was so emotional, was just, you know, you train for this moment, and now it happens, and it happens the way that you dreamed of. And that's why, I mean, it's something that you can never experience. Like, I can't even describe what I felt, but it was, I mean, it's going to be with me forever. Okay, and then, Angelica, what did you learn from your competing at the European Championships and the Olympic Games? Yeah, I competed against the seniors, and which is always a good lesson for me. Um, I learned that it's like you normal competition, and I learned how to stay warm between the jumps, which I had a hard, hard time doing because I, when I jump with the juniors, I usually jump alone and I do it in training also. But I think I, I handled uh, the rest now and I think uh, I know what to do now. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jennifer, what are the reasons for your great results this year? I think, you know, being healthy is one of them. Going into the meets healthy and I had a good solid training going into it. And, you know, right now, technically, I'm jumping, you know, well. And when you can line up that with a meet, that's, you're going to get good results. Uh, Angelica, you have a new coach, Mr. Mieter Saller, former Paul Walter. Can you describe your cooperation, <coughs> how it works? I'm moving to uh, Karlskrona now from Bekhoa to, uh, to train with him. And uh, it works fine. He's in the radio at the same time as my meet, but I have a cooperation with uh, Jesper Fritz also, so which works fine too. He helped me at the Olympics and uh, at the Junior Championships also. So uh, and uh, I have we're starting a cooperation with uh, La Vida Nice coach also Damien, and uh, it works fine. Okay, uh, Jennifer, what do you want to achieve in Stockholm at the Engadam at this special Olympic Stadium? You know, each meet I try to uh, treat it the same and, you know, it was the same as the Olympics as it's going to be for this one. I really focus on my opening bar and making that and then it's the next bar after that. So, you know, I really go into a meet, you know, from the you know, grassroots and think, you know, very simply and then try to execute that and then I try to climb the ladder. So, I mean, to say what I'm hoping for, I'm hoping for, you know, a good result, but I have to start at opening heights. Okay, and uh, what do you think about the competition tomorrow, Angelica? I hope um, that it will be good conditions and um, I feel in a good shape, just like I did at the Olympics also. So, I hope to jump as I as I want to and uh, set a personal record. 
Okay, uh, Jennifer, here we have the Queen of Polvolt, uh, you and uh, maybe Crown Princess, Angelica. Uh, what do you think about this World Junior Champion, Angelica? Do you have any special advice to give for the future? You know, I think you asked a perfect question to her about the experience of it. And, you know, she said something that I remember going through myself. And she's used to jumping alone because she's jumping so much higher in the competitions. But when you start jumping, you have to compete with other people. There is a downtime. You learn to stay warm and how to, you know, make bars after you've been sitting for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. So, you know, she's absolutely right that she's taking, you know, every experience she has and learning from it. And, you know, the Olympics is one of them. And now that she has that under her, I mean, the other needs that she's going to be at are going to seem so much easier. And, you know, she's on the right track. Every time I see her jumping, she's getting better and better. So, you know, she's got a good future. Hey. What about the future, Angelica? What are your plans for the next years? Uh, it's the World Championships next year in Moscow. I'm looking uh, forward to that. And, um, and uh, of course the Olympics in Rio it has always been my main goal. Uh, and uh, it's the Indoor European Championships in uh, Gothenburg. Looking forward to that also. So uh, I, I love the big mates and uh, looking forward to them. Okay, thank you very much. Any questions from the floor? Jennifer, you had uh, a fairly long career now, but many times you have been sidelined by injuries. And uh, ha have you <coughs> ever thought about, oh, I give it up because another setback? Or have you always thought positively about the future? Yes, I, I think I'm pretty positive about it, and I think everything is where it needs to be, and I understand, um, you know, when you first start out, you don't really know the injuries associated with pole vaulting or how that happens, but at, through time, you, you understand that and how to train, you know, correctly and balance everything out, and that's where I'm at right now, is I know how to balance everything out. So, you know, I've never been to the point that I thought of giving up or quitting. It just makes me angry and want to train harder. Yes, please. Ben, now, congratulations on your gold medal. It's fun watching you. Now that you got that out of the way, are you going to go after a new American record? Are you looking for some high jumps for the rest of the season? What are your goals? You know, after the Olympics, I really considered going home, you know, and calling it a season, but... You know, I think I want to be in competitions and meets where I can relax and I can actually enjoy the events of pole vault and enjoy competing and enjoy the atmosphere and the crowd and the fans. And so that's what I'm looking to do for the rest of the season is, you know, get back to, you know, what competition athletics is about and enjoy it. Other questions? Yes, Chris Turner. Just taking up from that. Has it been that much of a battle for you? You said about enjoyment. Has that been something you needed this time or two? Um, I think I'm a very competitive person. So anytime I'm in a meet, I find pressure to put upon myself, you know, even if it's not there. And especially going into the Olympics, it was, you know, I wasn't putting it there. It was already there. So, you know, there's a lot of anxiety and, you know, you understand what it's about and understand, you know, it happens once every four years. You know this. And so I think going into it, you know, you really are trained like a machine, not to think, not to feel, just go and compete. And that's what I did. So now that it's over and, you know, the rest of the season's here, it's, it's really to enjoy it and to have fun. Yes. Jennifer, when you're thinking back, when you started out pole and did you ever then yourself think, oh, I will become the Olympic champion sometime in the future? Because you started out quite late compared to Angelica, who started out when she was very young. You, you already had your, your college career behind you. I did. I played four years of basketball. I was 22 when I started vaulting. And, you know, my goal was to jump four meters. That was my goal. Um, so to be where I am now, absolutely not. <laughs> Never would have thought it. <laughs> uh, Angelica, uh, you have had three big competitions in the world. Mm -hmm. How do you uh, refocus, reload? How do you manage to Oh, I, I take every day uh, in, in, as a day come, and um, every competition of uh, those three have, has been <coughs> different. Because in the junior championships, I I came there, I was the best, 
and it's I went there to to just enjoy the gold medal and at the junior championships I came and I thought I had a shot a, a shot to to make a good result and uh, make a good okay came to the finals and and uh, make good competition by the seniors and to the Olympics I had no chance <laughs> so it was different uh, in every meet so it wasn't hard to focus or something yeah. but now the, the Diamond League isn't that la -ha, la -ha. no no no. <laughs> no I love these uh, these meets where when we are a few jumpers and uh, you you can you really have the space to make a good result with the crowd and <coughs> yeah, I really enjoyed it, these competitions. Well, also, John, this is your first Diamond League meet this summer, even the first meet outside the US besides the Olympics, of course. Is that according to your original plan, or is it because of injuries in the spring, or could you tell us about how you fought out the season from the beginning? Yes, there was an injury in the spring that was just a random injury, and so we felt best, you know, to train for the U.S. Olympic trials, and that's why we decided to take the Diamond Leagues off, was to train for that, and to make sure we were 100%. And now you are 100%, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, thank you. Yeah, how important is the five-meter barrier for you? I mean, is this your main ambition now to, to go over five meters? Yeah, I think, you know, my personal best is 492, so 493 is an ambition, 494. <laughs> so it goes up from there, and, you know, that's really what I do in practice. I try to climb the ladder, and that's what I want to do in meets, and that's what we just try to go height by height before we start, you know, putting you know, a glamour on one height. We try to just get through a bunch before we get there. That's not the ultimate... The, the ultimate, Roll. yep, the, I mean, the ultimate might be higher than that, but I usually don't share too much of those. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Jenny, when you pick a height like for a world championship or an Olympic championship, how do you and your coach do that? A lot of the height, you know, it depends on a lot of things, how warm-up goes, how I'm jumping. It depends on the field size. You know, some heights you can come in at where the field's going to be smaller, so then you get more reps at a height, so if you miss, you can get up sooner and jump where you don't have to stay warm so long. Um, and it depends, you know, really what my goals are in that meet, what to go for. Sometimes you'll come in big if you want a high result, and, you know, so it all depends. But we really try to decide on warm-ups, you know, how warm-ups went to what height to come in at. Were you surprised by Silva uh, in, the, in London? Actually, I wasn't. Um, I think if you look at her results over the past, you know, couple months or even the season, she's been climbing up there. And so, no, I was not surprised by her result at all. Okay.